Today we're looking at the Cowboys playoff picture and scenarios, and it's all made possible by our friends over at Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping on all of Manscaped's incredible men's grooming products when you use promo code COWBOYS at manscaped.com. Time now for the picture and the scenarios. Dallas can no longer acquire the number one seed. As much of a long shot as that was, that scenario is now dead in the water. The Green Bay Packers have clinched the number one seed, and I argue should get a win in the opening round of the playoffs because they were so good, they didn't have to play a team like the Saints or whoever ends up getting left out. Dallas is technically alive for the number two and the number three seeds. They trail for now behind the Rams, Bucks, and the Cardinals also in play from that perspective. Dallas has lost to Arizona Week 17, really hurt their chances of avoiding the number four seed. It doubled their chances of being the last team to host a playoff game this year. Here is the current seeding odds. I'm using the NY Times simulator, which factors in the spreads, likely outcomes, all that stuff across the board. So it factors in how different games could go down before you pick those types of games. 2% chance right now at the number two seed. 7% chance at the number three seed. A 91% chance at the four seed. Even if they win, Dallas only roughly doubles their chances at improving their seedings. Still an 83% chance of Dallas being stuck where I did not want to be in the number four seed. The Cowboys need a lot of of help to get out of that number four seed. The rooting guide, very straightforward this week. Cowboys win against the Eagles. The Rams lose against the 49ers. The Cardinals lose against the Seahawks. The Bucks lose against the Panthers. That's only four things you need to have go your way. From a volume perspective, it's possible. From a likelihood perspective, not so much. We will break down how that could happen and what the, the playoff matchup would be because there's no variation involved there based on what happens if the Cowboys win and those teams lose. So how many playoff games will the Cowboys win? I speak for every single Cowboys fan watching when I desperately hope it's not zero and it's more like four. But let me know what you guys have to say. Be honest with me in the comments. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So the ad break comes on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there. Type in 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Let's begin with the Week 18 matchup, right? Because this is step number one, and we'll know the outcome before those other Sunday games actually go down. The Cowboys on the road at Philly. This line has changed since we did our preview on, on this game on Monday, which is available, by the way, on the channel. Just go check it out. I'll link it in the comments in the description as well. Dallas is now a seven-point favorite. This likely coming about because of the fact that Dallas has kind of publicly stated, hey, we're going to play our starters. We're going to play our key, our key guys and try to win the football game. Philadelphia, even less so than Dallas, or I guess more so than Dallas, doesn't have that much to play for. Because of that, I think that's why it's a seven-point favorite for Dallas, not to mention they also blew out the Eagles by 20 the last time these two teams played. So who you got winning this matchup? Be honest again for me. No, no speaking of existence, just what you think goes down. C for the Cowboys, E for the Eagles. Let me know what you guys are thinking and predicting in the comments. Today's show is made possible by our friends over at Manscaped. And if you want to have a kid like I do or do the thing that leads to a kid, use Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com when you use promo code COWBOYS. I'm going to put that link in the comment section and in the description. It will boost your success off the field and also make things look a little bit bigger. I I'm trying not to be too blunt, but it's very obvious what I'm talking about. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Make sure you use promo code COWBOYS. Again, that link and 
the promo code I'm going to put near the top of the description and the comment section. Let's begin with looking at the path to the number three seed, the easier of the paths here right, for Dallas. Step one, Cowboys beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Step two, the Rams lose against the Niners. And because Dallas lost to Arizona, now they need the Cardinals to lose to the Seahawks. Yay, aren't things complicated? Dallas would lose a head-to-head -head tiebreaker against Arizona and the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against the Bucs. All kind of issues right there. So that's that. Now the Rams are probably the one you feel the most confident about losing. They are at home against the now likely Trey Lance-led San Francisco 49ers, but only a four-point favorite. The Niners, meanwhile, playing for just as much, if not more, than LA. The Rams are fighting for the number one or the number two seed in the division. They are going to try to win. They will not be resting starters. The Niners are fighting for their playoff lives. They certainly will not be resting their starters. So this is probably the one to watch the closest. However, even if the Rams lose, Dallas still needs a loss from Arizona. This was why it was so big for Dallas to beat the Cardinals in Week 17. They failed to do so. Arizona is at home fighting for a division against a team out of the playoff race in Seattle. Now the Seahawks, with no first-round pick, are probably a bit more likely to try to contend and compete a little bit heavily or more heavily than, you know, maybe a team like the Jets, for example. But I think the Cardinals have a real chance in this game. If upsets happen, as they often do in the NFL, we actually know what the playoff matchup would be. It would be the Dallas Cowboys as the number three seed hosting the six-seeded San Francisco 49ers. Remember, the Niners would have won and Philly would have lost. Guaranteed playoff matchup right here. Uh, the Niners, I don't think, are going to be an easy outcome playoff time. They have a great run game. I think Lance gives them some variance in terms of good and bad. I think Dallas would be probably around a touchdown favorite in this game, maybe a little bit less. I'd rather put the Niners than the Cardinals or Rams, but you need help to get there. Now, we will be live for the Cowboys-Eagles game on Saturday and for all the games here at the Cowboys Report come playoff time. Hopefully, multiple. Make me spend my weekends doing Cowboys games. I beg of you, Dallas. Subscribe if you want in on the free coverage right here at the Cowboys Report. All you have to do, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Path the number two seed then. Same first three steps. Cowboys beat Philly. Rams beat the Niners, Cardinals, uh, or excuse me, Rams lose to the Niners, excuse me. Cardinals lose to the Seahawks, and the Bucks lose against the Panthers. It's Rams, Cardinals, Bucks losses, and this is the one that really feels the least likely. Uh, if you haven't watched Carolina since the Cowboys beat up, beat up on them, you've missed some bad football. The Panthers are bad. They suck. <laughs> They're not a good football team. Uh, it, it's been a... Be blunt, it's, it's been a borderline fireable season for Matt Rule. Tampa, a nine-point favorite at home. I have a really tough time, even though the Bucks almost helped you out by losing to the Jets, so it's possible I have a tough time seeing Tampa coming up short against Carolina. If this does happen, Dallas would play Philly once again, trying to beat them in back-to-back -back weeks. This time it'd be at home. Dallas would probably be, again, a touchdown-plus favorite. Philly has not yet beaten a team with a winning record. By the way, I hate that stat because it's stupid. Beat the teams that you have in front of you. There's still going to be a nine-win team in the playoffs. That's kind of a good thing for Philadelphia, but I would hope Dallas would be able to win that game. Those shots, though, are unlikely. So the likely outcome here is the Cowboys are playing either the Arizona Cardinals or the L.A. Rams. The Cardinals need a win and a Rams loss. And the Rams need a win or a Cardinals loss. That is the path to winning the division. So the likely outcome here is Dallas plays Arizona once again at home. Kyler Murray, AT&T Stadium. Who do you think is the easier opponent? Not saying easy, but easier opponent. Type C for the Cardinals 
or type in R for the LA Rams. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Some final thoughts here. I think the very, very likely expected outcome, hope I'm wrong, the Cowboys are going to be the number four seed in the NFC. And I didn't want that seed. I don't want to play the Rams or Cardinals. I think there are five really dangerous teams in the NFC. Bucks, Packers, Cowboys, Rams, and Cardinals. I didn't want to play one of those squads in the opening round of the playoffs. That opens you up to heartbreak in the first round. It makes for a tough matchup. It's not easy. But you know what? Go win the game. I beg of you at this point. Win playoff games. One at a time. Go have success. The, the recent run is not fun for anybody involved with this organization. You always show some promise, can't finish it. There's always excuses, different reasons why, but the end result has been the same. Let's get that changed this year for the Cowboys.